Hi guys, it's me Evie. What I have for you guys today is a keto breakfast. I am having egg salad, two strips of bacon, and half of a small Haas avocado. And to drink, I'm having unsweetened almond, vanilla almond milk. I've never had this one, so I'm going to try this. Mmm, it's really good. could taste the vanilla the rest doesn't have a flavor but it's good it's refreshing I could throw some coffee in here a packet or two of stevia in the blender have iced coffee mm, that sounds good I think I'm gonna make me some of that today so yes guys this is breakfast there's three eggs in here two tablespoons of mayo turkey bacon mmm I was hungry, he just came back from the gym. Who you can tell? Avocados, I love avocados. I know this is high in fat, guys, but it's supposed to be that way. Because since you're not putting any carbs in your body, your body doesn't have a choice but to burn the fat. You know what I'm saying? So this is our fuel, our energy source. Mm. Gotta be honest, I'm mixing some crackers with this or my toasted bread, but mm, 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 mm. a person who's helping me, she found this. Um, oh god, I forgot the brand, but this bread called called Lavash or Lavash, Lavish, and for the whole big thing, I think it's um six carbs something like that the point is we can have that or of the same brand they make the pitas that's what I should have got stopped at the store so I could stuff my pita with this mmm that would have been perfect but that has to be another move on so how's everybody doing all right now it's morning 10 o'clock guys I'm the dot right now I was at the gym like from 8 o'clock my eggs are easy to make. I already have them boiled. I always boil a dozen eggs. Like for throughout the week. The hubby likes to snack on them too, so. Yeah. All I had to do was put my turkey in the oven for, I mean, in the oven on the, on a skillet. Two, three minutes, it was done. Mmm. And my avocados. I don't like to add salt to them. What I add is um, this Hispanic seasoning we have. It's called adobo. That's what I like for them because it has like salt, garlic, pep um, onion powder, pepper. It has different things already in it, so I don't have to you know look for more spices. But if you don't have that, you can use um, Laurie's seasoning salt. That's good too. I'm really liking this milk. It's awesome. Mm. Bacon. I like this bacon better than the original bacon. Just because, not when I've cooked it, but when you go out to eat, you know, they don't crisp it up enough. Up enough. They don't crisp it up enough and um that texture of that fat that's not fully cooked drives me nuts. That's why Gabriela can't stand that. I'm getting a text. Oh yeah. Mmm. This breakfast is so good. This is gonna keep me full. A lot of protein here. I'm gonna dry this. I'm ready to go. I'm going to take a quick shower. Oh, sorry about that. I'm going to my son's house. I'm going to make a uh, bread pudding today. So if you guys want to know how I make that, go to my cooking channel because it'll be up there later on today, of course, because I have to record, then I have to come home, edit. 
and then upload to YouTube. So look for that later on in the evening. Mm. Lady T, this is for you. I know you're on a exilic kick right now. <laughs> I don't blame you, Mama. It's delicious. Hmm. <laughs> Again, Mealy. Sitting right next to me, just hoping, praying for something to fall. She don't get it. I'm on a diet. So, there's nothing falling. But I just bring her back from letting them play outside for a little bit. And I gave her her little snack already. She's being a little piggy girl. She's a fatty. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think in my mind like a lot of things I could do with this um, almond milk. Nancy, are you around, Mama? Haven't heard from you. Hmm. By the way, you guys know I live in Wisconsin. So yeah, Green Bay Packers are from Wisconsin. My son is so upset because he loves the Packers. But he said our season is done because Aaron Rodgers got hurt really bad and he broke his um, collarbone. So yeah, he's going to be playing for the season. So my son said, yeah, fuck it, we're done. What I told him was, Aaron Rodgers is not the team. He's part of a team. So he's not winning the game by himself. He says, no, ma'am. He has the arm to throw so that they can make touchdowns. You need somebody just as good as him or better. I'm thinking, yeah, we're screwed. So, let's see how that happens. Let's see what happens. I just can't believe, I mean, I know he's great. But I cannot believe that for the whole season we won't, we won't win another game because he's not playing. You know what I mean? Who knows? We'll see. What are your teams or who do you guys vote for? I also like the Cowboys. I have a friend. His name is Paul. He lives in Texas. He's a diehard fan of the Cowboys, of course. <laughs> he lives there. Mm. I'm looking at my table behind this. It's messy, but in a bad way, I just took out everything that I'm going to need to take to my son's house for uh, my video. Nothing to do <laughs> with the real milk, you know, like cow milk. Not the flavor, not nothing. It's just really good and smooth. You don't. I thought, like, oh, vanilla milk and no sweetness to it or anything. I mean, I could add like a little packet of stevia, but why? I tasted it. I mean, it's delicious like that. It doesn't need it. And that's what I was thinking when I first bought it. Like, mm. I don't think that's going to be good. That vanilla flavor and no sugar. That's delicious. Mm. Today was supposed to be my way in. My scale died. 
I don't get it. I don't know what happened to it. It's an electrical, I mean not electrical. A digital one. It doesn't use batteries. It's with um, light. It's not working. So. That's okay. You know what? I'm going to weigh myself on my very last day of um, November the 1st. My last day of keto. So remember guys, I was going to try that out for a month. I said if I liked it, I would continue. And honestly, those are the plans. I'm liking it. I'm liking the way I feel. That I'm energized. Guys, that I'm fitting into clothes. Like, wow. You know? So, yeah. I'm planning on continuing. I'm not going to set that in stone. But I am going to have... um. One, two, three cheat days that I know of. Four, I'm sorry. First of November, but it's not gonna be a cheat day. It's gonna, it's not even gonna be a full cheat meal. I'm just gonna have the onion rings just once. I need those. So my next cheat day, and it's not really a, gonna be a cheat day except for one thing, which will be Thanksgiving. I'm gonna make um cauliflower mash. I'm having turkey, all of that I can eat. Um, the only thing I'm going to cheat on, and it's going to be a small piece, would be of pumpkin pie. So, not a cheat meal, just a cheat thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to really behave here. Then for Christmas, another cheat meal. It's not going to be the full meal, but I'm going to have... I am going to have some arroz with gandules, which is the yellow rice with the pigeon peas. And I am going to have some potato salad. Yes. I need potato salad in my life. And then for New Year's, same thing. But other than that, I'm done with the cheat days again. Unless the hubby takes me out. Oh, hubby's birthday is in January 28th. You know, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is, I don't need to give you all the dates. You know what I'm saying? But whenever there's a special occasion, I'm not going to have a cheat day. I'm going to have a cheat meal and it's not going to be the full cheat meal. Because when we, whenever we go out to dinner or whatever, I don't have, um, I behave. I do my big salad and I do a big chicken breast or a six ounce steak. So all of that is keto approved. So I'm doing good. But if, like for my birth, my husband's birthday, they give us a little piece of cake, I'm going to have at least one or two little, you know, bites of it just to taste it. So, yeah. That's what I mean. I'm just going to, I'm not doing the whole cheat day. I'm doing a cheat meal and not the cheat meal, but a cheat thing. If you follow. So, yes, guys. Enough of me. Thank you for spending your time with me. Don't forget to comment down below what you guys ate. Um, da -da -da -da. if you're new to my channel welcome I appreciate it stay tuned for more November 1st I'll give you onion rings of course and yeah that's it for my uh, channel take care and God bless see you soon